Back by popular demand, I'm going to teach you how to create a horizontal menu board with Canva and all with no expensive hardware or fancy programs. Yes, my friends, all you need to get up and running is a USB thumb drive. First things first, you're going to want to create a Canva account. If you don't have a Canva account, you can sign up for free at the link below. Next, come over here and click on create a design. Now we'll create a custom size. So come over here to the plus icon and select that. Now input 1920 by 1080, which is the standard 1080p screen resolution. Now we're ready to rock and roll. Click on create a design and get started. For this tutorial, I'm gonna create an easy to read menu for Jamba Juice. First thing I'm gonna to wanna to do is add an organic background shape that will hold my featured product. So come over here to your toolbar and select elements. Now to achieve the look I'm going for, this background section will be built with two elements. The first would be a basic square. To add that, come to your search bar and type in square. Click on that element to add it to your canvas. Then click and drag the square to the left. Now adjust the width by clicking and dragging one of the four circles. Once you have it where you want it, adjust the height by clicking and dragging this rectangle. Now I'll add a second part, which is the organic edge. To do that, come to your element search bar and type in organic text and select this one. To adjust, repeat the process we discussed previously. Now that we have everything positioned, let's change the color of both elements so they seem like one piece. To do that, select an element and then hold down shift and then select the other. With both elements selected, come over here to the color box and click it. From here, you can select some of the default colors, select a color with a color picker, or even add a hex code. I already have a hex code in mind, so I'll add it here and then click out of the color picker. Now I want to add my featured juice image. To upload an image, come here to your toolbar and click on uploads. In the uploads tab, everything you upload will show up here. You can think of it as your asset library. So come here to the purple button and click on upload media. From here, you can upload assets from Facebook, Google Drive, Instagram, Dropbox, and even your computer. For this video, I'll upload from my laptop, so I'll click on device and locate the file I want to upload. Once uploaded, you should see it in your recently uploaded library. Then to add it to your canvas, just click it and it should appear. To adjust the image, simply click the image and drag and drop it into position. I'm going to place my image right here and then I'll enlarge the image a bit. To do that, just click on one of the four points and drag to your liking. Next, I'm going to add in some copy describing the featured product. To add copy, come to your toolbar and select text. Canva provides some really great font combinations for you to play around with. But in this example, I already have the font I want to use. So what I'll do is come here and select add a heading. Now I'll change the font. So come over to the top and click here. From here, you'll see the crazy amount of fonts Canva has to offer. But for the sake of time, I'll search for the font I want to use, which is Mansalva. Now I'll adjust the font size, which can be done here at the top, or you can just eyeball it and adjust the size like we did with our previous uploaded image. Now that I have it in place, I'll update the copy and move on to the product name. So repeat the process we just went over. That's looking good. Now I'll add a little more product information underneath by repeating the same process. Now I'll add a divider from the featured product and the price, which will be just below the dividing line we are going to add. To add this element, come to your toolbar and select on elements. Here is where you can really get lost in the sauce as Canva offers what seems like an endless amount of elements. So if you want to learn more about the different elements Canva has to offer, check out some of my other videos in the description below. For now, I'll just search for the line I want. To do that, I'll come to the search bar and type in line and select that one.
Then I'll change the color by coming to the color box and adding in a hex code. But you can always just play around with the color picker until you get something you like. Now I'll add the product size and the price like I did with the other copy sections. For the finishing touch, I'll upload the world famous icon by coming to the toolbar again and selecting uploads. Now I want to add some food items down below and I want them to pop from the other menu items. So I'll add a yellow background. But for the sake of time, as this will start to get repetitive, I'll fast forward. What I did was essentially repeat the whole process again, but just changed the background color to yellow and added a little bit less information. Now I want to add three products in this section. I want them to be in little cards in order to keep everything organized and easy to read from afar. So let's start by adding a rectangle. Come to your toolbar and select elements and search for rectangle. I want my rectangle to have a rounded corner to match the organic lines and elements, so I'll choose this one. Next, I'll adjust the size of the card like we did previously and place it around here. Then I'll upload the product, adjust the size and the placement. Then I'll add the product name, description, data divider, price and drink size. Then this card is all set and I'll duplicate it two more times and just eyeball the spacing between each card. Then I'll replace the product images and all the copy for the other two cards. And that's all she wrote for this menu design. Now let's take this to the next level and add some animation. To do that, just select on the whole canvas and click on animation. Now you can play around with the different animations Canva has to offer, but keep in mind less is more. So for this example, I'll choose rise and change the duration to 30 seconds. This time represents how long the animation will be up on screen. Now I'll duplicate the whole canvas by coming to the duplicate page icon over here and select that. Doing just that will make the animation loop. Now let's export our finished menu board. Come to download and select that. Keep the file type mp4, or if yours is not set to mp4, just click on the file type and select mp4. Make sure you're exporting all pages and smash that download button. Now that you have that saved out, go look in that one cabinet you have with all the loose cables and adapters and iPods until you find a USB drive. Then plug that into your computer and upload the mp4 file you just created. Once uploaded, locate the USB port on the back of your TV. In most cases, you can find it next to the HDMI inputs. Then just insert your USB drive. Next, with your TV remote, find your input and select USB. Then locate the MP4 video you uploaded and select that. And look at that, you have yourself a sweet looking digital menu. But before you call it a day, there's one last step. With your TV remote, come to your video settings and select loop. Now you'll have a forever looping menu. Now depending on the TV, you might get a player bar popping up after every loop, which might not look the best, but hey, this is a good solution if you're on a budget and can't afford the most expensive setups. And that is a wrap, my friends. I hope this helped you out, but if you have any unanswered questions, make sure to ask them down below. Mm -hmm.